course. Right, sweet, cool. What are we doing, Tom? Today, today. today. we are doing our A to Z of climbing. Pretty much all of the words that we deem useful to you yeah. to throw out in day-to-day -day yeah. climbing life. A. A is for ret. A ret. A ret is French for a ridge. Um, and in climbing, it normally refers to like the end wall of something. Yeah, um, just like the, like the sharp corner. Yeah, athlete. <laughs> B. B is for? Burly. So burly is, I think it's quite like an English word. It's just for basically... Like a really muscly root. Barn door. Uh, this kind of links through to a rept. Uh, normally an erect problem requires a lot of balance and you're really pulling on the erect to keep yourself that way. And sometimes it's really hard and you kind of just swing out just like a barn door opening in a breeze. Beta. Tom, you can talk about beta. Um, so beta basically just refers to the sequence that's another word. So sequence and beats are kind of interchangeable. It's the, the series of movements in a boulder problem or climb. Um, and beta specifically refers to when people used to film bouldering or climbing on old Betamax cassette tapes and then they'll play it back. So you Americans kind of used to refer to, to them as like beta tapes. So they're like beta resistant. Does that, does that make sense? It makes sense. Did I do that? Did I do that You've well done that time? well, Tom. Okay. You've geeked out hard there. I've geeked out hard. Bump. Bump. Bump is when effectively you do two right or left hand moves in a row. So you go right hand, right hand again. That's a bump. Yeah. Um, C. Crimp. Crimp it refers not only to a type of hole but also a way to hold something. So crimps are normally like really, really small holes or edges. Yeah, normally like a pad or smaller. Yeah. Um, and but you can also do a crimp on a bigger hole. So like a crimp, a full crimp is where the kind of thumb comes across the top like that and you're like right on your fingertips and your fingers are bent on like that. It's like a full crimp. You've also got like a half crimp, which is like a, your fingers are slightly bent like this. Yeah. Campus. Climb without your feet, but it comes from a specific training gym and it was like a training method developed by Wolfgang Gulick. Now it's just known as climb without your feet, basically. Yeah. Good for training your body strength. Yeah, but then there's also the campus board, which is just wooden runs. Go up and down there. Yeah. If you want to climb action direct. Yep. Perfect. Crux. So crux is kind of referring back to the sequence of the beta again. Um, the crux is just the single hardest move on a root or boulder problem. D. Dab. Dab! Dab! Go! Go! Dab! Go. Dab! <laughs> Dead point. Go on, Tom. Dead point just refers to a particular type of move. Um, normally, kind of like when it's a big move to a bad hold, you do a dead point, and it just means you're you're grabbing the hold when you have no upward momentum or downward momentum. So the dead point in its path, I suppose. Yeah. Um, drop knee. Drop knee. Um, this is just when uh, if you're climbing a route, it's it, it, it is what it sounds like. You drop your knee to try and help you gain extension in another direction. Yeah. Um, we'll probably try and demo Brings your hips closer to the wall. Yeah. Um, we'll twist through and we'll yeah. drop the knee down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey Jake, yeah, uh, we need you for a diner. Can you put it on the corner? Yeah, of course I can. Sweet, see you in a minute. Diner, yeah? E! Easy. Easy. Um, God. Easy is one of those words that we try to avoid saying. Yeah. Just because if you refer to something as easy, chances are it's actually probably not easy for everybody. Uh, this, is, this is kind of more refers to if you're teaching someone or you're climbing with someone um, who might be struggling with something and you kind of just say, oh yeah, it's fine, it's easy, it's easy. And actually you're just probably making them feel really uncomfortable. So try not to use it. We do use it occasionally. Um, but it's just one of those words to try and avoid yeah. in climbing. Eliminate. So eliminate, um, we played a game of eliminate. We played a game of eliminate the other day. Uh, basically an eliminate is quite often you find it outdoors. So like the ret or something might be eliminated, a specific hole might be eliminated to make a problem harder. Um, or you can play a game of eliminates where you just try and take out holes to make the problem harder. F. Flash. Uh, flash is when you do a route just like first time 
like from the moment you get on, you do it one go. Flag. Um, do you want to talk about flag? Uh, yeah. Uh, I suppose flagging is when you kind of like push your leg out to help yourself balance. But it's not necessarily on the hold. You can also back flag. It's just another way of gaining balance. You're kind of like using the leg that isn't on the hold as a tail. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's like if this it's like a line, it's making your body into a nice balanced line. So you've got like two points of contact on the wall, like maybe one hand and like one foot, and your head's going to be leaning that way because you want to go this direction. So your other foot comes up. It's kind of like disco dancing. Fist bump. Fist bumps are essential. Essential. Like when you when you do a problem where you've like just achieved any tiny little thing, the fist bump is good for morale. Makes you look cool. Fist bump. Steve. G. And Gaston. Gaston is kind of when your the hole's kind of sideways and your elbow comes up like this. And yeah. Kind of These are the normal. Guppy. Guppy. That's when you basically just wrap your hand around the top of a hole. You're not like pulling on it with your fingers, you're kind of like using the, the whole side of your hand to wrap it. But I'll do, we'll do a demonstration with the guppy as well. Um, H. The all important heel hook. We would hope that everybody knows what a heel hook is at this point, but if you don't, a heel hook is when you put your heel on a hold. It's either, it can be, it can be a passive heel hook where it's just there to kind of keep your body on the wall. Or you can have a more active heel hook where you actually are physically pulling with your leg to get you up the wall. I intermediate. Sometimes in a climbing route you've got like a you've got like two good holds, but in between that you're gonna have like an intermediate hold, which is just gonna help you kind of bump through or move through to get to the good holds. J jams. Well stuck to jams. Blue jam. Strawberry jam. Raspberry jam. All of the jams. We love jams. Love jams. Jam there's donuts. No, but there's, the thing is, is that there's no other kind of jam. No other kind of jam. Nothing to do with climbing. Yeah. That's right. Don't need it. Just. Um, this links through to using the word easy. Saying something just, just stand up or just go to that hold. It kind of it, it belittles the move that you're doing and makes it sound real easy. Uh, it's another one of those words to avoid if you teach for someone or you're trying to help someone out. It's, it's not a great concept. But it's a good way of, of uh, sandbagging. We'll get to sandbagging later. Yeah. We're sandbagging your friends. Oh yeah, just grab the crib. <laughs> yeah, just dino to it. Yeah. It's great. So yeah, it's just a small dino. <laughs> K. Kniba. This is just where you, you've normally got like a, a foothold and then somewhere you slot your knee in between two holds on the wall. Naki, Tom. Um, Naki is a very English word. Um, basically, it just means that there is a knack to the move, so there's a specific way of doing it. The climbing in Fontainebleau is very knacky. Yeah, sometimes it won't be necessarily a strong, it's not about strength through, it's about the technique and body position and has all these tiny minutiae to solve it. It's knacky. L. Lock off. What do you know about What do you know about lock off? Um, JP. Locks off on everything. Uh, yeah, it's just you lock off your arm. Yeah. It doesn't really it's move. It's just like kind of you almost make a bit of an L with your arm. L, you think L, L lock, lock, off, off, lock off. You know, M mantle. Um, just generally when you're like if you're getting over the top of a pole, probably will do a mantle. Yeah. Or you can have a mantle shelf. It comes from obviously mantle shelf. Yeah. When you try and climb upon you. Mantle, mantle shelf. shelf. Mantle piece. Mantle piece. Mantle yeah. piece. Yeah, it's normally if you're a big hold and you pull your body up over that hole. That's yeah, pretty with much the leg on. With the leg on, yeah. Mantle. Um, mono. It's a hold that you can get one digit in. Morpho. Tom, you can talk about morpho. If a problem's morpho, it's normally easier for tall people, basically. It happens more outdoor than indoor, but um, yeah, morpho. Um, matching. Both hands onto the same hold. Or Match. both feet. N. Nails. That's quite English as well. Yeah. Hard, probably just as, hard nails. as nails. Um, it's just like you'd say that problem is nails, man. Um, yeah. I don't know what you're doing. You no, sorry. Episode. That problem is utterly nails. Yeah, totally yeah. nails. Bloody hell. I mean, it's, yeah. yeah. Oh. Overhang. Overhang. A we wall did. that hangs over your head. P. Palm down, roll over. Classic. Absolutely. Come to the arch. Palm down, roll overs everywhere. Yeah. Favourite move. Banging move. Pinch. See our video on holds? Yeah. Power spot. 
Um, Tom, oh. you love power spotting. Um, it basically, if you're trying to work out the moves on a boulder, but you're not necessarily quite strong enough, or you're not, if you're not ready to try your hardest yet, you might get a, get your bro to hold you up. Um, yeah. I'm not very good at power spotting Tom, but Tom's <laughs> very good at power spotting. Exactly. Just like take a little bit of weight off so you can kind of feel the holes, feel kind of what you need to do, and then you can come back and try a bit harder. Any questions? Yeah, what's a rope? Ah, so, uh, rock over. This is only, it's, it's kind of shifting weight is another term for it. Um, you have got two feet on the wall and you bring all of your weight over onto one foot. So you rock over onto the one foot yeah. and then you can stand up on that leg and help you go. Uh, run and jump. It's where you run, run and, and then jump. jump. S, sandbag. So, Oh, sandbag has so many good applications. Yeah. Um, so, sandbag, it, well, it refers to um, when you're rope climbing and your belay layer is quite light and he has to have a sandbag clip to his harness so he doesn't take off. So it's like trying to climb with a sandbag. So it, a climb can be sandbagged in that it's given V3 but it's actually a lot harder. Or you can sandbag a friend by being like, oh yeah, just come try this nice, easy, whatever, but actually it's really hard. Yeah. Sloper, it's a type of hold, send. Six send, bro. Yeah. It's when you climb a route, sent it, did it. Yeah. Spotting, essential, out of doors. Out of doors. You don't really need to spot very often indoors, unless somebody's doing something stupid, whether they might land on their head. Um, we shouldn't really explain, well, should we explain how to spot? I feel like if, not, we're gonna, if we're gonna teach you how to spot, we'll we do should a do proper it. video. Yeah. yeah. Static. Static is where it's a lot more slow moving. You don't really do any quick, powerful moves. It's you moving quite slowly on the wall. Yeah. So um, slow climbing is generally yeah. static. Yeah. Cool. T. Toe hook. Bang it. Yeah. Like a like a heel hook. What with your toes? Yay! Thumb catch. So it's like a pinch, but there's like a specific hold, a specific bit for the thumb. And that would be the thumb catch. Yeah. There's also thumbdercling, which is a word I am, oh, which is a word I am pioneering. Right. Thumb, thumbdercling. Thumb it's just, it's just when you have, when you basically, you have an undercut, but you can only use it with your thumbs. Oh shit, that's a good one. Fucking hell. Whoa, <laughs> my my <laughs> mind's just been fucking. You know that little emoji, the, the mind blowing one, was me. Thumb, ha, thumbdercling. That that leads very nicely onto you and undercling. Um, yeah. It's when you're grabbing a hole from underneath. You're clinging onto it under. Yeah, banger. V, volume. The volume. Yeah, you know picture of a volume. You know what volume is. Vert. It's another angle of wall. Straight up. So overhang, vert. Yeah, straight up. W. w. Work. work. Work the move. Um, if you're struggling to do like the whole route in like one clean go, and there's just one bit you're struggling on, but you're getting really tired doing the first it's bit. It's the crux. Yeah, you just want to work the crux. You just kind of start halfway through if you can. If you can't, then that's where you have that handy power spot to help get into that position. X. Hi, I'm Sien. Um, yard. Y. Yard. It's when you just, it's just you yard, yard for, for it. Yeah. It's just, I don't know what it, you you're just, just you're throwing big, big for yeah. a hold. Z. In the zone. It's quite, I mean, there's not many things, but yeah. You, you're not really going to use it. Jamie's looking at me just like, what the fuck is that? It was the only one we could think of. What else is there? Sweet, cool. Um, so, Hang on, we that's, just did that's, it. Our, we just that's our A, A to Z. For one, it only took us 22 minutes. Quick as you like. Quick uh, as you like. <laughs> basically, we tried to hit as many of the words that you guys asked for as possible and add in some other ones that we think can be useful. There are more, but... Yeah. But they're, you know, they're just infinite words and some ones we left out we just hope you know already. If there is some like weird random jargon that you personally use that we haven't mentioned, drop that in the comments below. We'd love to, you know, add to our vocabularies. Yeah, but yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching and we love you guys. We love you all. Every sub counts. Yeah. Especially yours. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>